But within that piece in The Times, these, I quote, the Zelensky government asked for help, says uh, Rodnansky. Um, uh, Roman, and this is a quote again, Roman is the person who decided to help and to mobilise support for a peaceful resolution. So he's not freelancing. He is acting on behalf of, uh, of Zelensky and team. Yeah, I mean, President Zelensky rightly is asking everybody to come in and help, either directly with military supplies and support, which we're providing, but also in putting all sorts of international diplomatic other pressures on uh, Russia. Yeah. But in the end, as in the Falklands, th that war stopped because the Argentinians were defeated. Mm. Now, I wish people would just get a map of Ukraine in their heads. It's t more than twice, nearly three times the size of Britain, twice the size of France, from Lviv in the west to Odessa on the Black Sea or Kharkiv. It's over a thousand kilometers. Yeah. From Normandy, where the Allied forces landed in 44, to the German border, it's about 700 kilometers. Mm. So this notion that Russia can conquer this enormous landmass, occupy it, I mean, if they occupied it under any conditions, there would be an insurrection, there would be, a, there would be guerrilla attacks, Russian soldiers and Quislings would be shot. I, people will say, is Putin getting the right information? Putin speaks and reads uh, fluent German. So he's, uh, unlike most politicians in Britain, he actually has another language. You can get another source of information from another country. I think he knows what he's, he's going yeah. on. Uh, he needs, though, to, I think, to have more pressure put on him, which is why sure. Britain and America and the West should be less pusillanimous and really help Zelensky and the Ukrainians with far more military gear. Yeah. So give them the tools and they can start finishing that's, that's, the job. It, 